<laughs> and I even heard that even Riley was was uh, f- fully fully on board with, t- with trying to take down Scientology, and that throughout all of this, Priscilla m- remained a loyal soldier, a loyal Miscavige soldier. In your opinion, no. how how much no, no, of that no. is true? No, my I think this the second my mom my sister left the office, she called my mom and said, "Mom, I just did this. Like we're out. We're never going back." And I think we had a meeting that night. My mom at my grandparents' house. My mom said, you know, with my sister, took they like took me aside. They're like, look, we're leaving. We're never going back. I was like, I was never going to go back there anyway. But congratulations, guys. Like, Your mom said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year, if you had to estimate, what year would that have been? 12 years ago. I'm not good at math because I grew up in a cult. But let me try to work it backwards. So, like 2013? Yeah, 20, that's 10 years ago. Yeah, around there. Yeah, 2013 to 2012 maybe. Hmm. Wow. Um, recently, in the last, and again, I'm going to get the date wrong, sometime between now and three years ago, okay. Priscilla's one of the people who, when the media speculates that they're out of Scientology, she actually has responded to correct the record that, no, yes, I'm still a Scientologist. Has um, she? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think she might be a little bit afraid. As it would be my, would be my, uh, would be my guess because I, I think she, she, I'm not, I, I'm not really afraid of people. I'm not afraid of people doing anything, but she's, I think I'm more cautious about people saying bad things or, or, you know, getting revenge. It seems like the irony of Priscilla being afraid and, and I'm not, try, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to minimize anyone's fear. Right. But uh-huh. like, for someone who's been in the crosshairs of media speculation and lies and scandal and all this shit, the irony that Miscavige and Scientology is who she's afraid of. Uh-huh. Yeah. So because they, because they know, cause let's be honest, nobody but Scientology knows as much dirt on all of its high profile members. Like Certainly. any of the tabloid, the, these guys could start yeah. leaking shit to the tabloids. In fact, that's what Lisa Marie was afraid about at the end of her, the end of her life. Yeah, of course <clears throat> they had, they had, they they outright threatened to take sides against her in custody disputes and stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, I might not have disagreed with them, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I mean, you're not. But have you have you ever been officially declared an SP or expelled or disconnected from or anything like that? No, uh, I, I think that's the same as like the. You know, cause I only went there when when my sister and everyone was still involved, so. I think it would have been against their their benefit to to kick me out probably, but they did try to uh, Shane for sure did try to get me to discommunicate from my father or disconnect from my father. I should have listened to him then too, but but uh, but uh, Shane Woodruff was trying to get you to disconnect. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I I mean I I went in there with you know I'm pretty firm. Well, I mean. My dad tried to raise me saying, don't be brainwashed. You can never be brainwashed while at the same time brainwashing me. But he said, don't be brainwashed by Scientology. You know, so I, so I went in there with a pretty strong mind saying like, you know, this shit isn't for me. Like, I don't need this shit. And I think they, they kind of got that quickly. Wow. Are you still close with your mom? Close. Yeah. I love my mom. Very, really, really, really close. So about like coming on here and doing this with me is not going to create problems for you? I told her about it. <laughs> she said, "Oh, really?" She said, you know <laughs> she said, "You know, I never really had a problem with them." With so, what? Scientology, I suppose. I mean, oh. but she was one of the elites. They treated her. They didn't make her do anything with a toothbrush or lick any floors. So she, <laughs> I don't really think she really had you know anything to really really complain about. Um, you know, she was treated as a very high profile member. Oh, I got something. It's an anecdote. It's not a bad anecdote about your mom, but it's an anecdote that if you let me know if you've heard this or if there's any truth to it. Sure. When Tom Cruise got fired from Paramount, like Paramount killed his production deal and that she was dating. It couldn't have been Sumner, but it had to be someone up there. Could, could, did your mom ever date Sumner Redstone? No, nope. it, it couldn't have been. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that your mom behind the scenes was one of the people who actually sort of saved Tom Cruise's career when Par- when Paramount and other people were having to distance themselves from him and uh, because of his, uh, his antics. 
and that your mom was behind the scenes and essentially sort of saved Tom's career. Now, it's hard to imagine. <laughs> I, don't think was... my mom, I don't think my mom likes Tom Cruise very much. Well, that, uh, but... <laughs> she was doing it for she was doing it for Dave, not because she likes Tom. I don't no, think she likes Dave either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're telling me your your mom's not going to play hide and seek at, with Tom and no. uh <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if there was any truth to that. You have there, to remember that you, this would have been back in like 2006. I would, I don't think she ever liked him. But <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, incredible. So, <clears throat> so you told Priscilla you were coming on and doing this, and she didn't say don't. She, she didn't say don't. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> she 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 made she did give me a funny face. <laughs> she said, oh, what are you gonna say? <laughs> she said, not a A Ron. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's actually a big deal. I mean, I have to tell you, until five minutes ago, I actually, if anyone would have asked me, I I would have said Priscilla Presley is a dedicated diehard Scientologist. No, I, I please don't. Wow, <laughs> that's um, that's important. That's important. Yeah. It's important yeah. for people to understand that Scientology. I, I has really don't. I, I really don't want her to be associated with it either. Wow, yeah. incredible. I think it's important for. Well, first of all, I bet you Scientologists didn't know that she was no longer under Miscavige's spell. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> well, she and, was, so she was never under Miscavige's spell. She never liked it once. Miss Cabbage came in. She was, I think she she was recruited by Travolta and Spanky in like the 70s. And she was still around when Hubbard was still around. Mm -hmm. And as soon as Miss Cabbage came in, she said things started changing and it wasn't quite her her thing. Wow. wow. Did she ever meet Elron Hubbard? I think she did. Maybe. I think maybe, maybe she may have once. Wow. I don't think John Travolta ever got to meet L. Ron no, Hubbard. I cannot. I mean, I'm not, sh I can't guarantee it, but hmm. yeah. To the best of your knowledge, when did Priscilla stop actively participating in Scientology? When my sister told Miss Cabbage off. Oh, really? She's yeah. been done since then. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's kind of a huge deal. Yeah. I, the world does not know that. Yeah, they should. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, Andy, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right.